Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Teddy and Teddy is a Yorkshire Terrier and he's come in for his second groom with me and we're just gonna give him a, a nice close cut. We're gonna give him a number seven cut with a rounded face. He does have some matting in his neck area um, and his owner said he's been scratching his back um, on the grass there so he's getting a little itchy so this will really help him uh, get rid of that itchiness and uh, feel a little cooler for the summer. So I'm just going to get started here. So I'm going to start first with the um, trimming the face up and then I will move on to the nails. Okay. With most dogs they always grow in that face first which then of course they can't see. So I like to start in that area because they're quite excited to see. Oops, I guess you would like to see too. There you go. So when I am holding him, I'm holding by the back of the jawline there so I can move him around but it's uh, not impacting his breathing. So that's why he can still move. And um, since this is only his second time with me, they usually just gotta get used to having that freedom of movement, but also that I'm still gonna continue on what I do. So basically when he lifts up, I just kind of push him back down. And now he's just resting his head on me. usually do settle in eventually but sometimes it can take a few minutes He does have a little bit of matting in his muzzle here. So I'm just going to trim it a little bit shorter and then I'll be able to get the comb in it later. But I don't really want all that in there because it'll be really, it's a sensitive area to comb out. So I don't want to be tugging in that area with the scissors. So you can see he's a little bit sensitive to that area when I trim it or touch it even. That's why I'll trim it a little shorter so that I'm not really brushing too much because it might be sore as well. It's got a little buildup of tearing in there. So I use my thumb kind of to loosen it so that I can kind of get under it a little bit with the scissors. And if I can't, then I kind of wait till I get in there in the bath. But it did break up enough that I can get under it. So. one side. I'm just going to see if I can get under this one a little bit. I always like to come up from the bottom. Let's see if I can loosen it again. I got most of it, but it's still there, but I'm going to wait till I use some water on it, which will help loosen it. And then I'll be able to trim that out. It's got a little bit of matting on this side as well. 
especially right in there. I'm just going to trim that a little shorter and uh, I'll blend it in after the bath. Okay, so that's all I'm concerned with on the face right now. And there, so then we're going to um, comb out his ears. You can see there's some matting in there as well. I'm going to use the thinning shears. Take out that clump there. And just, I see there's another clump there. So. And the tips seem okay. Oh, first I want to get the mats out before I trim them. And they're not too thick of mats. If they were thicker, I'd probably just um, cut them out. But uh, you know, always want to keep the nice fluffy ears because they look cuter. If we can. But there are times that I'll shave them off too because um, it's not worth stressing the dog out just to have fluffy ears. And they will grow back. But you don't really want to stress the dog out any more than you have to. So there, so that takes out quite a, quite a nice chunk anyways. Okay, so. Then we'll just kind of round those out. Am I using my thumb as a guide? As well. Okay, we'll just get started on the next year. Oops. All right, and this side has about the same amount of mats. Let me get those out. Now I'll try to blow the camera for you. Just because it's so thick, I'm just going to use the thinning shears again. I really don't want to tug on the ears. Because nobody likes that. You can see it's kind of starting to come out. But of course it still does a little bit of tugging. Hey, it's okay. Try to break it up a bit. And I am going to come again just because it's still tugging quite a bit and I don't really want like that. There we go. Okay. It's okay. All right, so there, that one actually had a little bit, bit more in there. Okay, I'm just gonna turn you a little bit. All right, so we're gonna trim under here. That's okay. All right, then we'll just round his ears out again. So you can see I'm just going a little bit off the ear. See his ears are a little bit pink, but once I pluck that hair out of there, that should help alleviate that as well. I'll just layer them up. We'll see how it turns out after the bath. Okay, so I'm just going to get my tweezers and we'll pluck out some ears. So there's uh, not that much hair in there. We're going to trim this hair just on the outside of the ear. Because you don't really want to pluck that hair because it would really hurt. 
All right, just wait. Let me fix that. It's not going to be a fan of that. Okay. Oh, it doesn't hurt them, but of course it does feel funny to them. So, all right, so we're going to have to do a couple moves here to see if we can get that. One from this side. All right, I'm going to lower the table so I can just get a better angle and obviously hold them a little bit better as well. Quite common for them not to like this process. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to hold them close to my chest here. Hey, it's okay. Hey. And again, this is his only second time with me. So they will like to have a little bit of resistance. And they'll do that. Because, of course, he's trying to get me to stop, so... Well, that doesn't mean you're, he's getting hurt. It just means that he's trying different methods to see if I will stop. And eventually, I will be able to do this. It's okay. But you have to continue doing it because then um, if you don't, he'll just remember that if he yelps and you stop... Then he will just remember that yelping will get you to stop. Okay. Ah, he's giving me a little bit of a workout today. It's okay. Alright, okay, so we got a little bit more of that out. It's okay. I know, I know. But uh, the key is just to keep going and show that you will not stop until you're done. And then they will eventually let you finish like he is now. Good boy. I know. One done. Giving me a workout. Usually the second one is better because they've realized I'm not going to stop. But that doesn't mean it will be. <laughs> and see with this one I barely am even holding on because he knows I have to finish. Or he has to finish. Whatever. There, see, all done. All right, so there we go. So that was a little bit more of a workout than I'm used to. He got a little workout too. Okay, so now I'm going to trim the feet up. And then, uh, so I'll trim the feet and then I'll trim the nails. So if you're interested in videos of me grooming or even just looking at the finished grooms that I've done, I've set up a whole bunch of different playlists on my channel now so that you can just kind of focus in on what you're interested in as well if you don't want to kind of scroll through all the videos. Um, so there's lots of different ones of all the different groom dogs that I groom, the different cuts that I've done on different dog breeds, and even one just of all the different dog breeds that I groom. So... You can focus in on that, also focus in on any health issues that I find. Um, and I just do a little clip on that as well. So 
So I do have a lot of little short videos and I do have, you know, the full groom like this one as well. So I do post regularly. So this is my full-time job grooming dogs. I've been doing it for 15 years. Um, so if you're interested in something like this and want to keep seeing my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate that too. Okay, so now we're going to keep going on his feet. I've got to watch where that tongue is. Watch out, buddy. Now we're going to turn him again. Or turn the camera, I mean, as you can see, hopefully. Any trimming. If there's anything specific you'd like to see, you can always comment. And I can uh, put that on for you when I, the opportunity presents itself. He's it's just licking my hand there, so I just got to be careful. Um, because sometimes they do that to deter you as well. But that tongue can get pretty close to those uh, to those scissors, which are very sharp. And again, that's another way to get me to stop grooming. That doesn't mean he loves me. Right? I kind of try to block him with my hand. But if he does continue to keep licking, um, I would just put a cone on him because I really don't want um, him to get his tongue pretty close to those scissors. But yeah, usually it's just to get me to stop. Hey, no. Teddy, Teddy, no. Teddy. All right, so what I'm going to do is put a cone on him. Okay. So it's just a small cone. So hopefully that will give me just enough. I just don't want him to put his tongue near the scissors. I like using cones um, because then it's not, uh, doesn't restrict their breathing at all. And it's not any more stressful for them. But again, you just have to kind of use what works for you and uh, doesn't stress the dog out too much as well you know because if he's licking my hands and i'm worried that he's gonna lick the scissors that makes me get a little bit more stressed and worried right and which will in case make him a little more stressed and worried as well so if I'm feeling a little bit more relaxed, so will he. So they really are good at picking up um, how you're feeling as well. well. I may have to get a longer cone. <laughs> there we go. There's number two, I know. That's a rough life you got. And his feet have quite a bit of hair in there, as you can see. So his feet might be a little sore too, and that's just normal. And the hair gets a little long in there, and it can get a little bit matted as it is. But also, as you can see, as I continue to go, he gets less and less um, resistant or licking me, right? Because he knows that didn't work. So again, he may try something new again. Because he's still young. And again, this is only his second time. So usually they'll kind of let me go for a bit. And then he'll see if something else works.
Okay. It's going to go through the front here. His feet are definitely a little bit sensitive. They don't like me going through the front here. And the key also is just to hold on, let him maneuver around you. It's okay, bud. And just kind of let him play around there, move around. But you kind of let him, I'm not tugging on his leg at all, I'm just holding it in place. And he kind of pulls at his own comfort level, because I don't want him to injure himself. If he was really flailing, then I would release and, um, you know, we, we, we hold on to him. But he's uh, not doing too much of that, so... The best is to hold on if you can, if it's, and um, eventually they'll let you kind of finish what you're doing, but they will try to get away. So then I'll, since he twisted his body, I'll release and go back to right where I was. Okay, so I'm going to get that dew claw. Okay. <laughs> it does like those nails being done. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, one more on this box. There we go. There you go. All done. One more. All right, so last foot here. <laughs> How was that for a view? Okay, I'm going to switch the camera again. As you can see, I don't do any editing. <laughs> Can't really do any retakes when you're grooming a dog. Next time, I would probably use the bigger cone on him so that it sticks out a little further. He just really doesn't like me trimming between those toes, so they are a little bit matted. So they're probably just a little bit sore. And I just redirect him. And eventually he'll let me do it. And then again, he won't like me trimming his nails. But we just keep going until we get it all done. Hey, 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 come on. One more, Daddy. Hey. Daddy, come on. Hey. 
Yeah, good boy. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's the hard part. That's usually the hardest part on any dog is uh, trimming the face and feet and nails there and getting those ears done. So um, that is the hardest part I find and that takes me the longest when I'm grooming. Just going to get this little mat out here with my thinning shears again. And just see if there's any more before I keep brushing. Just a little bit under there. So the thinning shears really help if you want to keep the lengths in anything, in a tail or in the ears when they get matted. And then you don't have to just cut those mats out. You'll still be able to get through them, um, but then keep the length in the tail. So if you like this video or any of my other videos, please subscribe to my channel. And check out all the other videos I have. I have a whole bunch of uh, playlists as well set up. And just got a little bit of mats there. I'm not very fond of that, obviously. It does it did take out quite a bit too so there's a little bit of mats in there all right so now he's ready for the tub so i'm just going to get him ready for that okay we'll move the camera and then i'll bring him over In there, I gotta remember to get that booger out of the eye there to loosen that fur up.
Okay, now it's time for the blow dry. So I'm just gonna get the towel and dry them off a little bit. And we'll give them a good blow dry. All right, all right, so I'm gonna get my quick blow dry here so it'll get a little noisy for a little bit. bulk of the moisture. Alright, so now I'm going to use a number seven. And I said, like I said before, he's got a little bit of matting in there, but number seven was, is good to get underneath all those mats. Whenever I'm going up in the leg, I'm always using my fingers as a guide because you want to make sure you're not catching anything. Especially when it's matted, you can quite easily catch some things in skin. Especially on older dogs because they have a lot more loose skin. Okay, I'm going to go up the leg. And that'll make it a little bit shorter as well. So that's where kind of the mats kind of are more likely to start as well. And then I'll go up there more in a number 10 because it is quite matted in there. So I don't really want to use a, a 7 because it might catch and pull on the skin. Careful of that liquor tongue. 
than like his legs being grown. Might be a little ticklish. But he's been pretty good. More concerned about the tongue than him moving. And you always want to check your blades, make sure they don't get too hot, because they can. So I always have spare blades, I don't just use one. Um, and it does help when the uh, a little bit damp to keep the blades a little cooler but then you may just want to make sure you check and you have oil as well to lubricate them if they start making a little a different noise or a different pitch because then you can tell that the, the blades might be grinding a little bit okay i'm just going to go under the neck here There's some mats under there as well. holding him up because he really wants to rest his head down so I gotta kind of hold it up on him. just learning what to do and seeing if he can get out of it a little bit by making it a little more difficult for me. But for the most part, he's being really good. And it's quite normal for them to be a little more resistant at the beginning. Okay, can I get a today? No. And you never want to pull them when you have to when they do move back you never want to pull them by their leg or their joint so i use you know the whole body kind of to drag him and i have a table that's very slippery so it's easy to maneuver him so i don't want him to have good grip i want you know to be able to you know, move him in what direction i need him to do That tongue. Okay. Come on. Daddy, come on. It's okay. He's figured out to lay down here so I can't get in there. Alright, so I'm going to switch to number 10 because they're, it's a little bit finer. So then it's I don't want to grip any uh, of his skin because he keeps laying down, so I'm making it quite tight in there. So I'm going to use a number 10 instead to get around him maneuvering like he is. And then once I'm done, I'll go back to the number 7. And there we go. We still got in there, buddy. Sorry. Alright, so now I'm going to continue on the body.
you can see under there it's a little more heavier matted and of course that's where he pees and stuff so it gets real stuck on there so I'm going to use a number 10 in there as well clean that up a little shorter and that's quite common obviously in that area so I will be uh, in the inner legs of the back legs as well around the bum area and generally the front armpits too because they're just prone to getting matted as well Stop there, and then I'm going to get the number 10. I'm going to start with his belly here. careful because it is quite matted so I usually do like little little strokes instead of uh, doing a long area or because I want to make sure I'm just getting the mat so a little at a time so you want to be pulling on that skin because obviously it's a sensitive area so kind of just as I release the mat, then I can go to the next one. Okay, that's that side. So we'll go to the other side. I can see I can do this armpit in there too. But I didn't get very close, so that's yeah, maybe because he was laying down. You can see the hairs a little bit, but you can also see the, the fur kind of sucks into that armpit. There we go, we got that. Okay, and then now I'm just going to do the bum area with the number 10. what I do is I'm just going to be doing a blow dry on him and I'll just trim up anything I see that I missed. It's always hard to uh, use the clippers right behind those pads there. I like to go back with the scissors and and plus here because he doesn't like me touching in those areas as well. So get those cleaned up and then I'll get the table ready so I can blow dry him. Hey. <laughs> he still doesn't like his feet being touched. <laughs> Teddy. Okay, so now I'm gonna just sweep off the table. Okay, come up. 
All right. I'm just going to do the final groom on him and then I'll finish up the head and stuff. But I like to wait for the second blow dry because then uh, it kind of poofs that up a little bit more. And same with the rest of the body. Even though I've already trimmed the whole body once, once you give that uh, second blow dry it really lifts it all up kind of. And then it can kind of even it out a little bit better. oil to my clippers because they're starting to you can see how it changes sound and I add the oil Take my stand up there you go usually by this you can see it's a little more relaxed he's still sensitive around his feet and legs and it may just be that, like some dogs are, and it's a little bit ticklish for them. Because of the vibration of the clippers, possibly. Or maybe their feet are sore because their hair, um, you know, if the hair has been growing in the, in the foot pads for a little bit, it gets a little sore for them. I'm just going to comb out his head here. It does have some mats on it as well. So I'm going to use the thinning shears to get through it so I'm not tugging. And we'll see if it can get it out without taking too much out. And if it does, then I would just trim it a little shorter. Because obviously this area is prone to getting matted. And it is a little bit matted here. You can see when I once I comb it a little bit out, if they're all at the top, so I'm just gonna cut those out. There's no point in me combing those out if I'm gonna trim it off anyways. So let's try that. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, and then we're just going to even that out. Okay, 
can. I'm going to come back to that eye, which everything kind of came out there. And I can just trim the hair nice and clean there. Oops, sorry about that. So right in here. Okay, so able to get nice and clean. And then I'm going to clean up this. Not a big fan of his face being trimmed. And once I trim this down, then I'll use the scissors to see if there's, or sorry, the comb to see if there's any mats that are still stuck in there. Yeah, he doesn't. Very fishy. Let's see about his mouth. <laughs> Teddy. So for this one, I don't like him moving too much, especially with the scissors around there. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna put him in a little bit of a restraint, which he will not like. I'm gonna kind of just put them nice and close to me so that I have a little bit more control. <laughs> You're still funny. It's okay. But I really, I really want to get that fur around his mouth. Hey. And I really don't want him to be nipping, so I just gotta kind of calm him down a little bit. Just right there, buddy. It's okay. And so when I am holding him, it's by the back of the head there, so when he moves back. He kind of gets stuck on his own. There we go. And once I do it, then he calms down. But the fear of not knowing what's coming, I guess. Yeah. Is that better? Okay. I think we got it. Yeah. And some guys just don't like that being touched. His teeth are really healthy and gums are healthy. All right. So he gave me a little bit of a workout. But he, of course, looks nice and cute. So I'm going to finish off with um, his ear solution. Oh, just that right there. Trim that. Come here. Have more that. Okay, now we'll try. Okay, here we go. So just the ear solution. That just dries out any moisture that may have gotten in there. Get clean, Come on. There you go. Give his teeth a little brush. We'll see how that goes. There you go. And then we'll be all done. Come here. I'm just going to assume he's not going to like it. And, uh, jeez. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to lower the table again. <laughs> he knows exactly what to do. All right, so just let me get in there, buddy. It's okay. Wrench <laughs> him once you get in there. And they know that it's not going to hurt. We can get it done. Okay. 
I do have another move that I use that's on the ground as well. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. There you go. Bad boy. And I do have a video of that one where I show the different techniques of how to uh, brush the teeth if they're resistant. <laughs> My goodness. So much drama. Okay, come on. Just let me finish the one side. There you go. <laughs> All right, I'll finish on the ground with him because I don't want to do that. That one on the ground is basically I sit him between my legs and then use it that way. So, but anyways, there's the finished product of uh, a Yorkshire Terrier groomed with a number seven blade and a rounded shorter face and some matting um, and also some resistance to his feet being touched and groomed and nails and his face. So a little bit of resistance for me today, but he's a good boy. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and just let me know if you'd like to see something different. Thanks for your time and have a good day.